Fuck. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, he just closed the door. She, he. Ah! Don't go easy on him. Welcome back, everybody, to this war of mine, the little ones. Now, before we get any ideas here, let me explain to you what's happening. Um, a couple of days back, I released the Falcon revisit of the little ones. Essentially, I was covering the release of the little ones on PC finally. Now, that was a short video. I just wanted to tell you guys, let you guys know that it came out on PC for one. And also check out the new additions based on the kids being included into the game. It was a really short video. A lot of you guys were asking for more content and a lot of more were asking for a series. Now, here is the deal with that. At the moment, we have YouTubers Life and Emerge running on the channel. And then everything else is essentially Falcon one shots. I'm purposely doing this because I want to keep myself um, freed up because there's a couple of games coming down pretty soon that I want to cover. Now, you guys, a lot of you guys were asking for more of this War of Mine, and I would like to do some coverage on it, but the problem is I don't necessarily want to stop midway because this game can be kind of long. The ending is kind of random, so it can take a bit of progress in time. So, here is what I'd figure we'd do, and if your guys are okay with this, we could probably keep it around this way, but what I'm thinking we'd do is, because I personally want to unlock the last two stories, which actually include more kids, at the moment, the only one we have is the one with Iskra and Cristo. but in order to unlock the ones down here, I do believe you have to beat her story as well. So, I want to do this for my own gratification as well, because I enjoy the game. So, what I'm thinking we can do here with this game, I could record this whenever I feel like playing this War of Mine myself on my own free time, and I'll obviously do commentary with it, and I could put those videos on the channel, and you guys can check them out. Is this going to be an everyday thing, or every other day? I can't promise that. So, it would essentially be whenever I get some free time, and only if you guys are okay with that type of scheduling. If you guys aren't okay with that type of scheduling, then I would just essentially stop and just play it on my own time. Because I do want to, you know, unlock the stories for myself. But, this is kind of like the way that I could kind of fit it into the schedule, into the channel. You guys could see some of it, and I could play at the same time, so it'd be like two birds with one stone. Am I attacking myself with stones, you're asking? Well, obviously, because I'm Mr. Birdman over here. But that's essentially how I want to do it. And if you guys are okay with that, we could continue with it. Otherwise, we'll just probably stop it. But for now, I'll record two episodes, and you guys let me know in the comments how you feel about this little setup here. And we will make a decision based on that one. So, without further ado... Now, mind you, I was playing this off-camera before I decided to make this decision for the channel. And I was like up to day six, and man, I had so much done. Like, I got like a really good start, like in terms of items, and I also got some really good trades happening. It was amazing. I really wanted to start this on day five on my old save, but I felt it just wouldn't be fair to you guys if you just suddenly see me started nowhere with all this cool stuff built. But man, that was such a good run happening. And mind you, this is a really difficult story because it's only one adult that could scavenge and one kid who's very limited in terms of what she can build. I was teaching her how to build some stuff, but it's still very limited. Now, we already read this before, so I'll let you pause this, read this if you want. Let's go forward here. So, um, with her, what I like to do is start off over here just having her scavenge what she can scavenge while I take care of the tougher stuff like the boarded up doors over here because she can unlock those. And mind you, we are not going to be discussing mechanics in this little um, thing over here because I've done that many times in the past now. So we're just going to play, have some fun. Do not be surprised if you see a couple of cuts, like if there's nothing happening at all. Or if all I'm doing is just hauling stuff from one area to the other one in a scavenging map, do not be surprised if we cut some of that off and just have just the important stuff shown on the videos anyway. Um, Alright, look little girl, I know you want to come and talk to Papa, but um, Papa is busy not only um, explaining stuff to the viewers, but also scavenging. So let me come down here, I do believe that's going to be locked. Don't come down that ladder right now! I need you to come and check out the stuff you can do. So you could definitely... Check that out. Alrighty. Sir, you need to open this up. There's also a pile behind you. I I'm hoping we get a really good draw here. Sometimes the runs are all based on how good your run can be, at least when you first start off, what items you can find. Like uh, a couple of lockpicks early could help us out a lot. Because so far, what do we have? Eh, not really looking too good at the moment. Now, what do we have up there? Yeah, I'm just... No luck at the moment. Let me come down over here. Might have to start going through that pile with my bare hands, or just, um, make a shovel, I guess. Assuming we could even make a shovel just yet. And by my bare hands, I'm not literally saying that Crystal has, like, you know, uh, I'm a bare hands, because that'd be kind of terrifying. But I guess that would be, like, really good hugs for the girl, you know? If you have, like, a father with, like, giant bare hands, so you can imagine it's a really... Oh, there's a lockpick. Perfect. 
More than likely, we could use that for one of these locked cabinets, because I know one of these cabinets are going to be locked, so... Oh, no, okay, so we have a locked door up there as well. No, no, no. I'm not going to use that for that. As a matter of fact, the lockpick itself, we might just even hold on to that and make a crowbar. So I'm going to say we're going to get stuck over here, right? Yeah, you know what? It might just be time for crowbar action. So, daughter, there's one more pile, but that requires the lockpick. We could use the lockpick, but man... No, I'm going to say we hold off. Alright, let's have you just play now. Go, go back there and do whatever it is you're going to do. Draw? Yeah, you draw. Okay. Now, this is... Yeah, locked as well. Let's get something built here. So, if we want the crowbar and the shovel, we need the metal workshop. Which we can build, so we will. I like to keep these kind of like all, all together, so might as well place this bad boy back here. Is that where she plays, um... Hopscotch? Is that is that how you call it? I think I grew up with it knowing it is Hopscotch, but I know there's always like different names based on regions of the world and whatnot, but I go with Hopscotch myself. I think that's back there. I think I might have just impeded into her like little playground. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got stuff to build over here, baby. You know, I gotta keep ourselves alive. Alrighty, so she's gonna be here continue playing. So there is my workshop. Let's see. We have enough for the shovel. And the crowbar, great. So let's get both of these built. I guess we'll probably go with crow. No, we should. Eh, it doesn't really matter. We have to go with both of them. Doesn't really matter when we do it. Let me try to zoom in as well. A lot of people always ask me to zoom in. I I'm just so comfortable playing with this zoomed out. Because it gives me a better look at what's happening everywhere. There it is. She can still play. Perfect. She's sad though. So I think she needs to play one more game before she's no longer sad. What's her third game at? Is it behind something? There's, there's normally three games for her to play. Christo, can you like continue working, dog? It's really imperative that you do. Alrighty. And then, get the old shovel. Now this is normally the original... This is the original house that you start off with in the old school vanilla game. Like, as they release new updates, they basically had different houses to like, you know, start off with. But this is the old school one. This is not the one with the little swing in the back in the backyard. Not that it really matters because the girl can't even use the swing in the backyard, so it's kind of like a lost cause, really. Had she been able to use that little backyard swing, that would have been pretty cool, but yeah. Are you done playing? I think you're done playing. Yeah, okay. Um, there's another game for her somewhere. Alright, look, daughter, you just hang out. I need to get some stuff done, so let's pop this open over here. We have to go through here, through down there. That's going to be a lot of shoveling to be done. We are not going to probably be able to get through everything right now. So, we'll probably head upstairs and take care of that stuff. There's way too many piles down here. So, I think we clear this up, grab that, and go upstairs and deal with those. Yeah. That's weird, because I, I play this so much that I've actually found out the proficiencies of this. Do you know it takes two hours exactly to clear a pile of rubble with only your hands in this game? Yeah. <laughs> These are the small things that I started, you know, MLGing after a little while here. Or I guess min-maxing, whichever one I'm going here. So, that's another shovel, another lock cabinet more than likely. But I think it's probably best we come up here. And get this little small area under control. Now, she cannot lockpick nor use a crowbar. You could teach her to cook, which is going to be really important for us. I'll have her just be her cook. Uh, you could teach her to make filters. We'll probably get a water filtration system at some point as well. So there's going to be a lot of stuff there we're going to have her rely on. And I'll focus on the other things until we... I'm not sure if we could add other people to this, you know, story. Like, just have, like, random people join. I, I really can't tell you that. I don't recall if you can. Then again, I haven't played really that far off camera myself. I got up to, like, day seven or so. Alright, so we're just about coming up to our little end here at 7 p.m. This is going to end at 8 p.m. We might have enough time to get down there and probably cure the one rubble, but that's about it. Mm, probably not even that. Nah. The trip over there is going to cost too much time. So, hey, we got some bandages. That's all fine. Uh, you know what? I don't have enough time. Let's see if we can just get a little small chat happening. And maybe that'll clear up her sadness. I really doubt it. We'll probably have to wait till the next day to kind of clear that up. Oh, I forgot the bed. No. <laughs> I always forget the bed in this house. Alrighty, so she's gonna obviously sleep on the floor. I apologize for that, Iskra. I'm gonna go out here and scavenge about where. We have the abandoned cottage. A family barricaded themselves in this house, but despite their efforts, looters got inside. It's been abandoned over ever since. Still, 
we might find some useful things that the looters overlooked or left behind. So there's lots of food, huge amount of materials, some meds, lots of weapons, and lots of parts. I'm actually looking for weapon parts, because I think getting a knife early um, is going to be really important, as well as uh, getting the axe, which does require weapon parts as well. Huge amount of weapons. Okay, here we go. Ruin Vila. So... Let's find out first what's over here. This map is not really something I'm too familiar with right now, I'll be honest with you. So, this will be our dump of spot. Now, are you guys okay with me coming in? Someone's there? Yep, I'm here. But I'm not sure if you are okay with me being here. He's coming down. Coming down, coming down. Someone was using the door, actually. <laughs> Okay, don't don't come down here to look what's happening, okay? Maybe it was just the wind. Please don't come down. Not coming down? Okay, good, good. Take a peek. I'm not sure if they're going to be hostile. I don't think they'll be hostile, but... Um, alternatively, though, if they... Ah, oh, fuck. Is it here? Alternatively, though, if they know that I'm here, they're going to start chasing me around, probably, and then that would legitimately be, like, actual, like, stealing. It might depress me a little faster. So... I don't think it's a dangerous map... But I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times in the past here. So. Now the problem is the lockpicks would have been really good now because we know there's people here. So if we decide to bring break something down, we're going to make a lot of noise with the crowbar. So that was a bad call after all. You need to keep moving, lady. Yeah. I'm not sure whatever you're looking for, but you got to keep looking for it. Close up behind you. Okay, good. Now we got to take advantage of this right now. There's somebody else possibly upstairs. This would be stealing. I think. Probably not. Alright, let's go upstairs. We have a hiding spot here, just in case. Mind you, I'm not the best stealthy person when it comes to this game. Really terrible at it, as a matter of fact. It's some woman's diary. She writes a lot about a man called Emil. Apparently, he owns this house, and she made friends with him while treating his wounds. After she moved in, he began to reconcile with his wife's dad. At least these two found some consolation in this mess. Okay. We can hide here. Not sure what that is upstairs. Nothing here. And as you're, if you're probably wondering, I am playing with the controller, so it's something I'm not too used to. I'm trying to be really cautious with my movement, though, because I tend to run really often because I just push down on the joystick all the time. There's somebody. Yep, that's a human. Is human coming downstairs? I think human is indeed coming downstairs. Got a couple of weapon parts, so that's cool. Um, human, please don't. Please don't come at me right now. Should have probably closed that door behind me. Let me hide momentarily here for a bit. Let's make sure everything's fine. Am I zoomed out completely? Let's see. Damn. <laughs> that person upstairs, I'm not sure where they're at. It'd be really nice to know where they're at. Okay. I'm going to zoom out now because I need to, I think. Nobody's fucking moving or what? Alright, that person upstairs, I think, just went back upstairs, so that's fine. Let me peek. Alright, there is a hiding spot here, at least. Okay. The other person is down there now. Okay, good, good, good. This is very good. Weapon parts, yes. Now, mind you, I'll probably dump some of this shit off if we have to, if we find something really good right now. I'm interested in that drawer up there. Oh, fudge. Stay down there. Don't come up here suddenly. This should be free medicine for us. No, no. Well, it's fine, I guess. Okay. Person downstairs is now moving again. Here we go. This is good. So, leave you. Take you. Um, leave you for now. You. Toys for the girl. Not sure if we have some of those back home. We might. But I'm not sure. I think wood is a bit more common than probably finding fertilizer, so. Okay. I'm gonna drop down. This is a good idea. That lady is coming upstairs. That lady was coming upstairs, wasn't she? A black and white picture of the owner's wife surrounded by burning candles as she passed away. I hope it was before the war, and she was lucky now to be a part of it. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of noises right now. It's worrying me a lot. This is the kitchen. Ah, oh, where's that lady? 
Should we just go downstairs instead? What if she just drops behind me suddenly? <laughs> okay. This is really tense. Like, I don't normally go after a map like this early on. I go to, like, to the abandoned cottage, which is, like, you know, just easy supplies early. Um, bunch of wood. No, nothing I would see myself leaving behind for that. I would love to, like, open up a shortcut, too, if we see that. Components are always really important. Probably more so than the wood right now, so... That. Fertilizer. Yeah. The components are really useful for back home so we can build some stuff, so... Okay. Okay. Should be fine here. There's a kitchen up there. I should probably go up there and steal some so technically, I don't think this is stealing, because normally when you're stealing, it gives like a little red indication, like a red meter, if I remember correctly, so... Moonshine is actually kind of good, and a cigarette could be really good for trading. So you know what? I'm going to have to probably toss book away for the moonshine for trade. And... This is a terrible cigarette, so definitely the one that we have here is a lot better. Alright, Lady is coming back downstairs. Oh, we could probably unlock the door from this side. Assuming I don't make too much noise. Okay. Ah, oh, fudge. That would make too much noise here. Well, we have the exit here and unlocked, and we're not making too much noise. Perfect. So we have a shortcut. If something goes wrong, we could just dash the hell out of here. Now, the question is, do we go with the crowbar here right now? Stay upstairs, people. Oh! You saw... I saw a person. Fuck. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, he just closed the door. She, he. Ah! Don't go easy on him. Okay, yeah. I should be running away. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We should have enough time to get out of here. <laughs> Hooey! Well, you know what? We kind of botched it at the end, but I think overall it went pretty well. And I really botched it because I had a hard time, like, you know, controlling this guy's movement. This goddamn controller. This we gotta take for upgrades. This we obviously gotta take for to make some... Hopefully the hatchet soon. These are kind of really valuable components. I mean, all that's left in here is components and wood, right? Yeah, and the broken toys. Let's get out of here. <laughs> the bastard is actually not here anymore. He's gone. Hooey, that was a fun map. I like the whole stealthy thing because I'm terrible at it, so whenever I do somewhat good, I'm always kind of really impressed by it. Alrighty. Day two. Excellent. I'm hungry and tired, though, and so is she because she slept poorly. I gotta make a bet here as soon as possible. Alright, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here for this episode. As I mentioned, we'll come back next one. These episodes might be a bit shorter because I'm gonna condense a lot of it, so, you know, keep that in mind. It's not that they're short. In recording, but they're going to be condensed. I'll cut some stuff off, etc., etc. Hope you guys enjoyed. It. Leave a thumbs up again. If you are okay with the schedule, do let me know. And we will. How much food do we have? Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and feed her. If you guys are okay with the schedule of just releasing it every now and then, let me know, and I'll stick around. Otherwise, I'll just probably drop it if um, people aren't okay with that. So there is that. I will catch you next time.